I just don't like when you start, start threatening me, like saying I'm like taking advantage of you and shit. Yeah. It just kind of kind of bothers me. So I don't want to be put in that situation again. Gotcha. To be honest, because that's not how it ever was in any way. Yeah. So are we like, are we just done? Are we done filming each other? Uh, I mean, it's not like a, we never film again. I don't think it's like that. I'm not like how we used to, for sure not. I just gotta figure out how to like, what, what's, what's next? Like, what do I do? You just make your own videos, do good shit. I gotta play smart. I gotta play game, I gotta play the, I gotta play the LA game, I guess, for a little bit. I just gotta do it. What's but the LA game? What, what everyone else does. Dude, I, to be honest, I might be on, like, I don't know. I, th I think I'm good at like starting drama. That's when I focus on starting drama. I think like, I like doing drama. Selling beefs? Yeah, so I mean, I, I, though, I've been doing that for a long time, from the beginning. I'm gonna go back to that. It's calm for a while. I have no, I don't have a filter. I, I will say anything. So you definitely don't want to start drama. No, I'm good at it though. I just one thing I'm good at. No, you're not. Yes, I am. I, I don't have a filter. I will see anything online. That's the thing. I don't care. I will talk about gay, so I don't, I don't care. I don't have a filter. Dude, it's not good. You know, that's gonna do it. I have to. Well, I'm just not gonna grow. I'm like, my views are crap. Imagine you doing YouTube for five years and you're still seeing it. I guarantee you'd be losing your mind at me. That makes you so like mad. It's it is, all you're gonna do is make it yourself me. sad and mad it is, and, it is and pissed off. Well, you're not entitled to five yeah. million followers tomorrow. Oh, I well, gotta do. I gotta make money, man. So, what? So, what, what do you think I should do? Make good videos. But all I'm here right now is that I gotta do whatever it takes to make it. And that's what I'm gonna do, I guess. Whatever it takes. Yeah. Make sure you pay, pay back the the pot. What is it? The deposit on the apartment. Whatever it takes. Danny, you can say whatever you want to say, but as long as you're honest. Just like I've been honest this whole time, I want you to be honest as well. I just want people to know the truth, that's it. That's all I want, period. You hear about Aaron? What's your no, thoughts? What happened to him? What happened? He's trying to cancel me. How the hell cancel you? This is what, here, I'll show, I'll show you the headline, hold on. <laughs> <Here>. <laughs> the truth about Danny Duncan. Danny Duncan physically abusing employees. What the fuck? <laughs> Some pussy ass shit. Roger, it's funny, like, Roger just has no idea any of this is going on. <laughs> but, like, in our life, it's just not the only thing talked about right now. Oh, you haven't seen the video either. I haven't seen the video. No, you want to watch it? watch it? Well, I'm going to put this on my second channel because my main channel isn't really made for drama. I'm not going to wear this hat for this video today. <laughs> this guy, dude. It seems as phony as hell, bro. There's like someone behind the camera with a gun. <laughs> I was already friend with a lot of YouTubers before them. He had me unfollow all of them, which, which to me uh, was really weird and I didn't like it. He's not gonna help me if, if I don't do what he says. I'm not begging you to sign a contract. I don't give a fuck if he's on a contract or not. You're the one who wanted to make it. You're the one who wanted help. You're the one who wanted me to help you blow the fuck up. And that's, that's what I did. I, I made sure you succeeded, that's it. As far as the unfollowing people go, I never once was like, Aaron, you better unfollow these people or else. I just think it looks cleaner when you're following less people, that's it. And I don't think it matters if you're not following friends. Like, who gives a fuck? If you're friends with someone and you don't follow them on Instagram and they're no longer your friend because you don't follow them on Instagram, they're, they were never your friends. I look at Instagram as a business. It is a business. That's how we make money, all the social media. So that's kind of why I just kept my shit at zero just to like separate, I guess, like personal, personal and business. Like, Instagram's a business. For Aaron, Instagram is a business. So YouTube's a business. It's, it just is. Him making a exposing uh, the truth video about me is a business. It's gonna it's gonna get views. It's gonna make him money. You know what I mean? So yeah, he's been working on this video for months and months and months and months and months. I've known about it, and of course he's gonna post it. You know, in December, which is the best month of the year for monetization. Next thing you know, he starts just punching at me out of nowhere. All I saw was a big flash, like a big light. Dude, it's like, bro, this is a joke. Dude. Me and Aaron wrestle, I, we, we do jujitsu, we do wrestling. Aaron's knee David in the stomach. Hey, hey, hey! Oh, God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey! <laughs> no, Aaron, you had a choke. Was... Obviously, Aaron's choked Nick. Oh! Oh my God! He's drowning him, dude! <laughs> So I remember when he kicked me in the head. So I remember when he kicked me in the head. No, come on, that's fucked up, dude. I've wrestled with Aaron like we choke each other. That's what happens. I've never violently hit Aaron in a mean way where I'm trying to like knock him out or something. It just, I've never done it. I never fucking struck him in the face. Like, no, no, you know what I mean? It's the only thing we ever did was just friendship, fucking around with each other. That's it. I mean, that's kind of why I haven't replied. Like, I don't even know how to. You should reply, man. You don't get I have those motherfuckers that actually think I abuse this kid. I'm like, what the fuck? Imagine you keep punching a dog. The one time, you know, you go pet the dog and it flinches. That's what I feel like with Danny. 
Oh. Speaking of fucking dog, this motherfucker left my dog in the fucking cage for fucking days, dude. This motherfucker almost killed my dog. Aaron did. Dylan. Aaron almost killed him. We had to literally eat this cereal outside. We had to, we had to be so quiet. Because I knew if I made any type of noise, I was so scared <laughs> he was going to come down and beat me. Dude, <laughs> shut the fuck up, bro. What the fuck? This dude is out of his mind. He makes a mess with everything. Okay, when he showers, he doesn't use a towel, so him and Kelsey have their own room with a bathroom. Dude, there was like so much water damage on the fucking floor, it was like just destroyed. Brand new house, like we just got it. Fucking water damage everywhere. I mean, dude, he just makes a mess. I am a dick at times, I'm not, I'm not gonna ever deny that. This is Aaron walking around the house, dude. Upstairs, dude, like, you know those memes, those videos where it's like, what the fuck are they doing up there? This is how I'd handle it. I mean, I'm not saying this is the best way, but I'm not a fucking abuser and I don't beat him. I'd be like, dude, Aaron, shut the fuck up. What, dude? Ugh. I'm not, I'm not stomping. You're the only fucking person up there, dude. Aaron, shut the fuck up. I don't want to be a dick. I'd just be like, yo, Andrew, can you tell uh, Aaron to, you know, stop fucking stomping? And Andrew would message him like, yo, stop stopping. And Aaron's like, I'm not stopping. He's like, you're the only, you're later, Aaron, you're the only person upstairs, like you're stomping. When I was in the bathroom, I asked him for a favor. Next thing you know, he put a knife right to my throat. This sounds like a porno, like intro. I was against a wall in his bathroom, just me and him. <laughs> but yeah, I never pulled a knife on him. He stabbed me. Well, he didn't stab me. But, because <laughs> right now, I feel like I'm doing the biggest thing that anyone's ever done in your team. And that's by confronting you. How's this confronting me? Couldn't you just come talk to me? Like we did three fucking times and you never brought any of this up one time? Because none of this happened? And I encourage those who have gotten hurt to come forward. Just don't hurt anyone else, man. Just don't do it. It's not worth it. I know no one else would come forward, but I'm gonna keep messaging everyone and try to get them to come forward. The verbal abuse he did to me. Even about my teeth, how my teeth are messed up. He always made fun of something. He always had to make, he always had to put me down about something. But I was never putting him down. I was literally just trying to help him. It's like people talk shit about my teeth. I don't care like that this is chipped. I just feel, I care if my teeth are healthy. That's, that's the only thing I'm saying. But I can sit there and talk to him and smell his breath and it just, you know that he didn't brush his teeth. I'm like, Aaron, did you brush your teeth today? No. But I never am like, oh, why do you got fucked up teeth? I literally would just say like, Bro, you have to brush your teeth every fucking day. It's like, there's no excuse for that, you're 24 years old. And like with him, I offered, I said, Aaron, look, we can take you to a dentist, and I, and I said I will pay to get his teeth fixed. Tell myself, I forgive Danny, I forgive him, I forgive him. And when I first said that, it was you to get teeth here watching. 77,000 people liked the video. The answer to this question, why am I on these videos anymore, is because of all this, it all added up. That is not why you're not in the videos, bro. Bro, this man begged me to be in the videos, dude. The reason he's not in the videos is because he literally said, uh, I feel like you're suge knighting me. So once he said that, I was like, what the fuck is wrong with it? Like, what is he doing, dude? Why is he being weird, you know? He wanted to talk to everyone, so we all got together and talked to him. I have the footage, we filmed it. He never once said anything about a bullshit knife. He never said anything about this stuff. He just said that the contract was ripping him off. <laughs> I just don't like when you start, just start threatening me, like saying I'm like taking advantage of you and shit. Yeah. Just kind of kind of bothers me. Now this is all after he's saying he's had enough, would never come film with me again, but yet he's asking, are we gonna film again? I'm on a 10 year contract. I, I'm not allowed to collaborate with anyone really because that's part of the contract. Bro, you're not listening. You're not listening. You are basically saying right now that I didn't let you collab with people. I've never told you not to collab with people. I just told you not to collab with these lame people. Never once have said, Aaron, why'd you collab with that person? Not one time. Okay. I'm giving him 20% of my earnings. I didn't take his money. I told him to take the 20% and invest in the stocks. I had him download like a, a Robinhood or an app like that. I told him to buy Apple stocks. I told him, I even told him if he lost any money in Apple that I would give him the money back. But if you I, lose any money on Apple, I'll give it back to you. No, it's not. I mean, you won't lose money. Hopefully not. I lose money. You will not lose money on Apple. I made him invest the 20% into stocks so that it would help him like learn for future because whenever someone gets paid, you need to take money and invest it every time, no matter what. Obviously, yeah, if the motherfucker in five years made 100 million a year, I wouldn't mind taking some of the money. Of course, that's fair. But it was also the, the, the verbal abuse he did to me. He calls me an idiot. He, he, can't comprehend, he can't comprehend anything. What are you talking about? I do know what things mean. It's hard for me to that's why I feel bad for him because it's like he can't he can't so like, communicate with us. You just sometimes can't comprehend things and just do whatever you want. And think it's better. You think it's better than it is, but it's not. This is what I'm saying though. It's like when he says I'm like calling. What did he say? He said I said he doesn't understand. He can't comprehend. It. But he says it like I'm talking shit to him and like I'm mentally abusing him and like putting him down. It's like I'm not at all. So what's I do? 
I gotta, you I, yourself? I, I gotta switch my channel. No, I can't. I gotta switch my channel. I gotta, I gotta do something different. I have witnessed abuse firsthand. Like, growing up, I've seen it. I mean, a lot of you guys know I'm sober, and like, a big reason I'm sober is because like, um, my mom was alcoholic, she married a guy who's alcoholic, and then as a kid, you know, for fucking like 10 years, I would watch her get beat all the time, fights all the time. It's just something I would never, I would never do. I never want to be a part of that. And I never want to be put in an environment like that. I never want to create an environment like that. I have no filter. I'll say anything. I have no filter. Bro's man said, I have no filter, I'll say anything. No fucking shit you will. He said, I was gonna do too much noise, Daniel would come down and beat me. Bro, <laughs> goddamn. This man said, like, bro, what the fuck, dude? He said I was, he said he came to my bathroom and pulled a knife on him in my bathroom. Dude, the only time I go in my bathroom is a fucking jerk off, dude. Legit. Someone's like, with my handy bathroom knife. <laughs> it's like, it is the end of an era and it bums me out, dude. We have so many good memories. I love Aaron. No, lo I loved Aaron. I literally would have done anything for Aaron. Anything.